A story is told of a young boy who was sick and needed to eat on Yom Kippur but refused to do so. Doctors and family members all tried convincing him, explaining that his eating on Yom Kippur was the equivalent mitzvah to another's fasting, but he continued to refuse. They sought the help of Rav Shlomo Zalman Orbach, who entered the hospital room and introduced himself as follows. Do you know who I am? Do you know what my job is? I'm the head of Yeshivat Kol Torah, and I'm also the rabbi of Sharei Chesed neighborhood of Yerushalayim. I lead all the students here. I came all the way here to tell you that if you eat, every bite you take is another mitzvah just like fasting. And I, as the rabbi and Rosh Hashiva of 500 students, who has taught tens of thousands of additional students over the years, I instruct you to eat. Upon stepping outside, the rab's attendant was shocked. He asked Rav Orbach, Quod the rab, I never heard you speak about yourself like this. I've never heard you praise yourself or highlight your accomplishments even a drop. Where did this originate from? The rabbi replied, I'm a humble person. When one needs to activate a certain trait required for their mission, they should have one-eighth of one-eighth of ga'ava for this reason. As the Chazon Ish said, the Anvatan, the humble person, knows that they have to be what to be proud of, because if they didn't, they'd have nothing to be modest about. Moshe Rabbeinu was speaking to Bnei Israel, wanting to convey a message in terms that they'd grasp and hold on to. Look at me. Look at my decisions of the heights that I reached. Moshe, the humblest of all men, now had a vital message to deliver even at the expense of his most prominent midah. Before leaving earth, Moshe wanted the people to learn to assign more meaning and value to the blessings they'll receive in Olam Abba, and less to those in this world, one of vanity and of vanities. The Arachayim tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu pointed to himself to teach Bnei Israel that this world is merely a corridor to Olam Abba, and their limited time and work here is just a preparation for that eternal life. The message carried credibility and effectiveness coming from him, a rich and accomplished leader in Olam Azeh. It's one thing to receive such a message from one who is suffering in the world and lacks more than he has. It would be natural for such a person to reflect pessimistically on the world they struggle in. But one who has it all and is willing to give it up? The message must be true. The same thing can be said with regards to speaking about Olam Abba. Anyone can say what they will about Olam Abba, but they were never there and have no idea. Moshe ascended to HaKadosh Baruch Hu on three occasions, each for 40 days and 40 nights while fasting, and could therefore point himself as speaking authoritatively regarding Olam Abba, unlike one who has never experienced it.